Welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how you can create a piece of art in response to Man Ray's rareographs. Uh, this is one example and this is another. And I have already opened a document ready to work on. This is an A4 size document. I have also taken lots of photos of different objects that I think would work well in my piece of work. I took them with a flash and straight above. Okay, right, so we're going to start with the glass. It's a plastic wine cup actually, it's the best I could find at school. And we're going to go to um, adjustments, image adjustments and turn it black and white to start with. Okay, and then we're going to go to image adjustments and we're going to go to invert and that is going to turn all the blacks into whites and all the whites into blacks. Invert it, basically. And then we're going to go to image adjustments and levels. Okay, and it's kind of like brightness and contrast, but levels gives you a bit more control. And you can slide these three sliders along here until you get your desired effect, which essentially is a nice dark background with a nice light cup. OK. Once we're happy, click OK. And we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool to click all the way around our plastic wine glass. And then, once we're happy, control C and go to our new document and control V. And that will paste it in. And then, using the arrow tool, we'll resize it. Maybe turn it a bit. And place it where we want it to be. OK, right, then we're going to colour drop the darkest bit of the background and use that to colour the background layer. OK, so now we have our first object on a black background and I can close the original photo um, so that I don't have so many files open. Right, now we're going to use the um, hand photo, but we're going to do a different technique on this one. We're going to use the magic wand tool. Once I find it, there we go. And we're going to click, and that's going to take away most of the background. I'm going to press delete, and such as the limitation of the magic wand, you'll see down here, I need to just use the polygonal lasso tool just to quickly take off the hairy bits of hair on my wrist and arm. Press delete and off they go. OK. Right, now to zoom out and I need to get rid of that bit in the corner. So I'm going to zoom out a bit more. Polygonal lasso tool, go around it and press delete and get rid of that. Okay, now I can use the rectangular masking tool, control C, control V, and there is my hand. Okay, and I don't need to worry about whether this is black and white or color because, as I said, we're going to do a different thing with this object. I'm just going to resize it and put it into the corner where I want it to be. And what I'm going to do is magic wand around it, so everything else, select, inverse, and then that's just selected the hand, and then I press delete, and that gets rid of the hand but leaves the mask, and then I choose white, go to the paint bucket and fill my hand shape 
with white. Now that looks okay, but looks a bit too much like the silhouette of a hand. So in order to make it look a bit more like a rayograph, I'll just zoom in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the layer, move this to show you, and then I'm going to click on Inner Glow, and I'm going to change this to Normal, and I'm going to change the colour to Black. Click OK. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down and the size up. And that's going to give me a kind of indistinct kind of grey feel to the silhouette, which I feel makes it look far more authentic than just having a white silhouette. OK, so now I can get rid of the hand. And we will go with the chain next. OK, so image adjustments, inverse. And then image adjustments, levels. And same as before, adjusting our levels to get to a point where we've got a dark background with a light object in front. Something like that. Click OK. Polygonal lasso tool, all around. And Control C, go to our project, Control V. Shrink it down, get it to a place where we want it. OK. And you see I'm left with some overlap, so I'm just going to get the magic wand and I'm going to select background bits and inner bits of the chain just press delete, get rid of those so we can see the hand. OK. And we'll just get rid of that. And we'll call that the end of the first part of this tutorial. I'll see you in part two.